YouTube Caldera is finally here guys. I'm so excited and happy. Hey, make sure you guys go down below and drop a like right now if you guys are excited for Caldera. Now if you guys are wondering what today's video is about, you guys read the town. I'm going to be giving you guys the top 5 class that to run right now in Call of Duty Warzone that with the new update, let me know down below what you guys think of the update. Are you guys excited for the map? Are you guys excited for the anti-cheat, the weapons, or are you guys just excited all around? Let me know down below what you guys are most excited for. But in today's video, guys, I'm going to be giving you guys the top five weapons like I did say. Now, these weapons are going to be the most broken, that I think, and just a lot of classes that people have been talking about. So we're going to hop in today's video. All I ask is for you guys to drop a like on today's video if you guys enjoy the content. If you guys do enjoy the content as well make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button with all post notifications so you guys get notified when a new video does go live with that being said also head over to the facebook page where you guys can see more exclusive call of duty content with that being said let's hop straight into class of number one because i know you guys are already waiting for it all right guys so the first weapon we have is the mp40 now for the mp40 what you guys want to run on it now i did notice this about the attachments so if you guys actually look at the silencer, usually it does give you that damage range and everything, but for some reason it doesn't in Warzone. So you guys want to put on the recoil booster or the F8 stabilizer for the accuracy and damage range and the fire rate. So personally, I am going to go with the recoil booster just for increased fire rate. Then for the barrel, you guys do want to put on the Krosnik 221mm barrel. This is going to increase our aim down sight speed, hip fire accuracy, aim walking movement speed, and sprint to fire speed. Then for the optic, now this is totally up to you guys. You guys can definitely use the slate reflectors. It's definitely one of the best optics right now in the game. Or if you guys do like the iron sights, however, you guys can put on the Krosnik ISO 2mm or the Krosnik 1mm. Personally, I'm just going to put on the slate reflector because it is going to help me with being more accurate. Then moving over to the stock, you guys do want to put on the VDD 34mm padded. This is going to give us recoil control flinch resistant accuracy and recoil recovery then for your perk one you guys do want to put on momentum this is going to move speed after kills then for perk two you guys do want to put on fully loaded so you guys do get the max starting ammo then for your guys's rear grip you guys do want to put on the stipple grip for increased recoil recovery and also initial firing recoil then for the magazine you guys do want to put on this one right here the 7.62 Garenko 32 round mag for increased recoil control and accuracy movement speed aim down sight speed and fire rate then for the ammunition you guys do want to put on subsonic so when you guys do shoot there is no way the enemies will see you on the minimap then for the last attachment for the underbarrel you guys do want to put on the m1941 hand stuff for recoil control and accuracy and then after you guys put all these attachments together you guys got the best mp40 class setup here in warzone now moving over to the second one you guys already know we got the stg so for the stg you guys do want to put on the f8 stabilizer for accuracy and damage range then for the barrel you guys want to put on this one right here for highly accurate and controllable and then headshot damage then for the optic you guys want to put on the g16 2.5 then for the stock you guys do want to put on the weighted for accuracy flinch resistant recoil control and aiming stability then for the perk you guys do want to put on sleight of hand for reload quickness then for perk 2 you guys want to put on of course fully loaded for max starting ammo then for the rear grip you guys want that no recoil once again so we're going to put on the stipple grip for recoil recovery and initial firing recoil then for the magazine however you guys do want to put on this one right here the first one the 7.62 Garenko 50 round mag for recoil control and accuracy movement speed aim down sight speed and fire rate then for your ammunition of course you want subsonic once again and then for for the underbarrel you guys do want to put it on once again the hand stuff for recoil control and accuracy after you guys put all these attachments together you guys got the best class setup for the stg 44 now let's move on to class setup number three now for this one now this was very talked about the nz41 being the meta like the top one weapon to use so i'm gonna give you guys the class setup for the muzzle you guys do want to put on the f8 stabilizer for accuracy and damage range third one the 360 millimeter bc for highly accurate and controllable and also reduce scope sway and gun bomb then for the optic you guys want to put on the g16 once again then for the stock you guys want to put on the e-pack for that recoil control recoil recovery accuracy and flinch resistant then for perk number one you guys want to put on acrobatic for movement speed and sprinting moving speed then for the perk two you guys want to put on fully loaded for max starting ammo 
Then for the rear grip, you guys want to put on the stipple grip for recoil recovery and initial firing recoil. Then for the magazine, you guys want to put on the 45 round 6.5 Saruka. For the recoil control and accuracy, fire rate, movement speed, and also more ammo capacity. Then for the ammunition type, you guys want to put on length for increased bullet velocity. And then for the last attachment, you guys do want to put on the carver foregrip for that recoil control and hip fire accuracy. After you guys put all these attachments together, you guys got the best class setup for the NZ41. Now let's head into class setup number four. Now the LMGs are always broken here in Warzone, so of course we got an LMG. For then for the muzzle, you guys do want to put on the Mercury silencer for that sound suppression and recoil control. Then for the barrel, you guys do want to put on this one right here. This is going to increase our recoil control and accuracy, reduce scope, sway, and gun bob, and then also give us that flinch resistant. Then for the optic, of course, we want the G16. Then for the stock, you guys do want to put on the VDD 64M for accuracy, flinch resistance, recoil control, and aiming stability. Then for the first perk, since there is no uh, reload quickness or anything else like that, you guys just want to put on steady for ADS firing move speed. Then for perk number two, you guys want to put on fully loaded. Then for the rear grip, once again, we want that no recoil effect. So of course, you're going to put on the stipple grip for recoil recovery and initial firing recoil. Then for the magazine, you guys do want to put on the first one for recoil control and accuracy, movement speed, aim down sight speed, and fire rate to put on the 6.5 125 round drum. Then for the ammunition, you guys do want to put on lengthen for more bullet velocity. And last but not least, the carbon foreground for the recoil control and hit fire accuracy. After you guys put all these attachments together, you guys got the best class order for the MG42. Now, however, let's hop into this one because this is probably got to be the most broken one out of all that I see everybody talk about. So hey, let's hop straight into it. Now this actually might have caught you guys by surprise, but it's actually the snake shots. The snake shots are back. Swag and a bunch of other content creators were talking about it. So hey, for the muzzle, for the muzzle, you guys want to put on the SO silencer for sound suppression and recoil control. Then for the barrel, you guys want to put on the first one, the W4 stub for damage range, bullet penetration, and bullet velocity. Then for the optic, for some reason, you guys do want to put on like the two times scope. It just helps with accuracy and the recoil control, basically. Then for perk number two, you guys want to put on fully loaded. Then for perk number one, this one right here is actually the Akimbo's. Now I don't have it unlocked right now, but you guys would want to put on the Akimbo. Then for the rear grip, you guys just want to put on the groove grip. Then for the magazine, of course, the nine millimeter one for recoil control accuracy movement speed aim down sight speed and fire rate then for the ammunition you guys want to put on length for increased bullet velocity and for the trigger of course you guys want that fast fire rate so we put on the lightweight trigger for increased fire rate hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did remember to drop like and let me know down below what was your favorite class of from the top five with that being said i'll catch you guys later in today's videos and i'm out peace